There isn't a single person watching this video right now that shouldn't study some Latin. Now why is this? We live in a time that is completely ignorant of its history. You talk to any person my age, chances are they will know very little about their own history. I can't speak for other countries, but I know that this is the case, at least in the UK. It certainly seems to be the case with Americans. And elsewhere, I have no doubt it's very similar, because over the last couple of centuries, we've had the domination of a new form of intellectual thought, which was transmitted not through Latin, but through languages such as English and French and German. Now, why is this such a problem? Because all of the culture, which forms the kind of the quiet, the quiet foundation of all Western civilization, so much of it was written in Latin, particularly the newer stuff. From about the fall of the Western Roman Empire, if not quite a bit before that, a lot of the seminal texts have been written in Latin. Texts that provided profound influence on the cultures that you live in, on the language indeed that you're speaking. These should be known, because in many cases, the people who wrote these books were simply deeper and better thinkers than the modern ones. So if you want to understand reality, even if you don't come from a white European background, if you want to understand reality better, study Latin, read the Scholastics, read the Manualists. All these people wrote in Latin, and they're best understood in Latin, because as an academic that I know once said, a translator is a form of traitor, because you can't truly translate across ideas like that. You lose some level of definition when you're translating something across, particularly with things like philosophical ideas, and for things dealing with meaning. Because that's ultimately what a lot of people are lacking now, it's meaning. And you can find that with Latin. That's the first thing. The second thing is that even for those who don't have a Western background, even for those who aren't Christian necessarily, say you're a Muslim living in Indonesia, what have you to do with the West? You want to understand the force that is ultimately at odds with the culture that you're from. And you're simply not going to find that in Friends. You're not going to find that in reading contemporary Western authors. There's a lot of assumptions that go back to people like St. Augustine in the thought of Westerners that you just won't find explicitly in their content. If you want to understand them, if you want to understand what the West is about, then you need to go and read their authors. And the best way to do that is in Latin, because otherwise you're just going to have this kind of implicit understanding of Western morality. Because it's not a codified thing, it's something that is, to most people, kind of inexpressible. And only recently have we seen the serious decline of this, as people have realised it doesn't really make sense. At least from their perspective, because they don't have access to Latin, that's another thing. Another reason. So many languages receive so many loanwords from Latin. In one way or another, English has like 50% or something of its words from Latin, either via French or directly from Latin. If you want to understand your own language or this language, you would be, be you would be very well served studying Latin, if you're a Western European especially. If you're a Romanian as well, you know, that's descended from Latin too. Also, if you want to read some very beautiful works, if you want to read things that have driven a civilization for for centuries honest to god brilliant works of art things like the visions of uh, saint hildegard of bingen who i'm sure many people have heard of learn latin when i went and read hildegard of bingen i was quite surprised because it's it's fairly simple latin it's not like cicero which i'm sure many people here who are watching this from the latin community you've handled cicero it's really difficult this wasn't. I could read it with somewhat, uh, uh, like a decent level of ease. You could also go and read the works of uh, Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, the Honey Sweet Doctor, as he's called. You know, beautiful works. The the inheritance of Western civilization that has been forgotten. And I'm convinced that it's well worth the effort, because it will make you a better person. 
Regardless of your background, regardless of your political views, understanding these works and understanding the history behind them is going to make you a better person. Now, how do you study it? Well, that's for another video. And until then, take care.